Here we go. Okay, in the air again. Not feeling any rain, so... Not bad. Not seeing any on the pond back there. We're over here in... Graham Airfield, which is over by Dresden, Ohio, which is by Adams Mill, which is by Trendway. A lot of little towns over here. We're about uh, 500 feet, 21 miles an hour. About a half a mile away from the runway. Sky is very calm. We're going to go over here and touch and go on this uh, airport, or at least simulate a touch and go. I don't know. I haven't uh, received permission from this guy yet to fly, but he's uh, out there quite a bit. And he waves and doesn't say much. I mean, he doesn't you know, like wave us off. So, but I'll just fly over. The direction uh, is about the same, it's sort of an east and west uh, runway, so it doesn't really have any advantages uh, to the current one we fly out right over here. Uh, just in case anything ever came up, they close that airport down and we could come over here. So we have a lot of options anyway, as most people that watch this uh, channel know that uh, we fly all, off of a lot of grass and uh, we have a lot of we're very fortunate to have a lot of fields around here so if you're from southeast Ohio from this area and you wanted to fly you would have a lot of fields to to choose from now this pond down here it's blue and I don't know if somebody actually puts dye in it, I wouldn't think so. I don't know why they would put dye in this one, but not any of the other ones around here. It's about 725, and we're going to bump down a little bit. A little bumpy right here. Not too bad. It's a pretty airfield. They keep it really mowed really nice. I don't see. may have an airplane in one of those hangars there, but... And we're about a mile, uh, about a mile from the runway. Uh, 54 feet. This says 54 feet off the ground, but I'm not sure about that. Seems like we're a little bit more, maybe 55. <laughs> 29 miles an hour. Cruise between the road and the trees. Twenty-seven miles an hour. Just driving down the road. Go between all the trees and the road. Well, we're not quite on the road. We're to the right of the road.
just following the road down the road. Over here and fly by the airplane. Actually, it's the windsock, but it's an airplane windsock. It's right ahead of me. There it is. I think it even has a man in it. Yeah, got a helmet on. I did a video once and it showed the spook house and I said it was a paranormal flight. And I got more dislikes because I called it a paranormal flight. They got people waving to me, so we'll fly right over them. They've got these uh, on the brakes on this Dudek. On the, the brakes, they've got these uh, like a peg, like a hard peg, uh, and it's not too bad for the left hand, I guess. But the right hand, where that bag makes a little bit difficult when I'm uh, launching, and uh, it's a lot different than. So I may remove those pegs and try. They've got uh, like a rubber tube that's a little bit more flexible. I may try the tube, and then you can take it, everything out and just have a kind of a regular brake that's kind of floppy, I guess. I don't know how you would call it, but... There's the airplane down there. And it's off. It says the wind's coming from that way, and it's not. It takes quite a bit of wind to really turn that thing. Get down below these trees a little bit, get the sun out of my eyes. about 84 feet above the ground, about 30 miles an hour, 8 o'clock. People taking pictures, see the flashes going off. Don't want to get dumped in that water. right by that tree.
go right between all these trees here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and land, and we're doing about 27, and we're just about 19, 15, 16. See if we can put it over here by the truck. 27, uh, let's see here. Yeah. There we go. 